judge orders Twitter to give Elon Musk key information on fake accounts that may change everything. The world's richest person is finally getting what he wants. A judge has handed Elon Musk a significant victory in his legal battle with Twitter. The company is now required to give Musk key information about the number of fake accounts and bots on the platform, according to a Monday, August 15 court order from Judge Kathleen McCormick of the Delaware Court of Chancery. Twitter must collect, review, and produce documents to give Musk from Kayvon Bakepour, who formerly served as head of consumer product at uh, Twitter. At the same time, however, McCormick decided that the 21 other people from whom such information was requested do not need to comply. In May, Twitter's current CEO, Parag Agrawal, made the decision to terminate Bake Poor's employment. According to Reuters, Bake Poor was singled out by Musk's legal team as a key figure in calculating the amount of fake accounts on the platform. Alex Spiro, lawyer for Musk, said, We look forward to reviewing Bake Poor's communication and will continue to seek information and witnesses until the full truth comes out. In the context of Musk's proposed acquisition of the social media site, the problem of fake accounts has surfaced as a major source of contention. According to Twitter's estimations, approximately 5% of its accounts are bots. Musk has claimed that the percentage is closer to 20%. Musk, the world's richest person, said he came to the conclusion that he would not move forward with the $44 billion purchase because he was unable to verify the number of fake accounts. Twitter subsequently filed a lawsuit against Musk in an attempt to still force him to purchase the company. The chief executive officer of an Israeli technology business called Sayabra, Dan Brami, is in agreement with Musk that Twitter has underestimated the amount of fake accounts on his platform. They have underestimated that number, Brami told Reuters, estimating the amount of fake accounts to be roughly 13.7%. Musk argued in a counter suit he filed that misrepresentations or omissions of information by the company has resulted in an inflated valuation of Twitter. According to the counter suit, Twitter does not have 238 million monetized daily active users as it claims it does, rather it has 65 million fewer of these users. Only a monetizable daily active user can be shown advertisements. Musk's countersuit alleges that Twitter engaged in a scheme to mislead investors about the company's prospects by undercounting the number of bots on its platform. Attorneys for Musk and Twitter will now appear in court for a five-day trial from October 17 to October 21st to debate whether the agreement to purchase a company must still be realized they did not respond to requests for comment. Twitter still carries on as though the legal deal has been upheld. The company stock closed at $44 one penny uh, per share Wednesday, August 17. And this is on The Mind Unleashed by Elia, Elijah Cohen. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.